Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I'm here in Sophie's room. Good morning. Uh-oh, I hear it. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Big breath in. <gasps> For any of you guys that don't know, Sophie was a really sick baby. She had a lot of lung problems, a lot of issues, breathing and being able to walk and talk at the same time. And she has been fabulous for the last year. Two years ago, she had pneumonia at this time, and it was really hard um, on us. She was super sick, but she's been good. Seems like every second year, Sophie gets pneumonia. So I'm always on the lookout to make sure that she stays healthy. I hear lots of crackles, lots of wheezes, lots of stuff that I don't like to hear. The best part about getting sick is that you get to rest. Do you like resting? Imagine if I was sick, I could just climb back in bed right now. It'd be so cool. Spend the day on my phone, sleep when I wanted, watch movies. It'd be amazing. But, what? Why won't you let me? <laughs> Why won't you let me? That is true. I, I say that I would always want to do that, but I can never do that. I can never just lay in bed. I'd have to be pretty super sick. So, what do you think? What? What do you think? No school today? <laughs> no, there's school. Lots of school. In fact, we are making a video today about a day in our homeschool life. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what does that mean? She's like, I'm not even dressed hardly. My hair's not done. My makeup's not on. Why are you trying to vlog me? <laughs> anyway, good morning, you guys. Welcome to today. I hope we have a fabulous day. I can t I already tell it's going to be a chill day. A day where we take some time, extra time to cuddle and rest. How are you guys doing? Everybody looks happy and healthy. It's like spring outside today. It's supposed to be plus seven. Oh, it's spring? It feels like spring. I'm going outside. That kind of feels like spring. It feels like, like spring. I went outside and there were birds everywhere. It feels like fall. It feels like yeah, more like fall. Like, it is colder here still than California, 105, 500%, but to us, it, this is unprecedented in January, it's supposed to get plus 7 degrees by a Thursday in rain, and all the snow is probably going to disappear. Anyway, that is what is causing Sophie to be sick. Just like when Sabrina got sick and the weather turned cold, it had an effect on her health. Where we live, we're surrounded by water and... um. We have something called croup. We get it, uh, most kids, uh, so many kids get it here. And what happens is when the weather changes um, from cold to warm usually, sometimes the other way as well, um, kids will get like a barky, croupy cough, kind of like a little infection, and it's just a virus and it goes away. And as soon as I heard this girl coughing this morning, I said to myself, you've got croup. And when she woke up this morning, she said, Mom, I think I have croup. And I was like, yep, you do, sister. We've had enough times in our family, we know what croup sounds like. Can I have that drink? Yeah, you want a drink? So what do you guys think? Does she look sick? <laughs> she looks so sick. Sam and her, when they get sick? They get sick. They get sick. Put that one you, look, she's got this red blanket. She's got her horse blanket. She's got her fuzzy worm onesie on and she needs another blanket. Oops. I wish I had um, one of those weighted blankets. A weighted blanket would be my oh, dream. Uh, do you uh, remember last time she looked at me in the warm bottle? Put the water? Yeah. You, you want the, the hot water, water bottle? bottle? Okay. All right, there she is. Is that better? All right, I'll get you a drink. Can you, do you want to sit up more or do you want to sleep? Four layers on. Sleep. sleep. Two girls, one horse. This is what it looks like. What a pretty girl. She's soaked. Now we always do this. Oh, she's had that bite mark for a long, long time. It's a bite. From a long time. Gonna be hurt our girl. That could be a tree poke. Yeah, maybe. Fiona just gave Sabrina a cucumber. And there it is, on the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently she doesn't like all food. I'm out of breath You whisper gently to the silent trees I won't 
forget You know the secrets of the late night breeze It's all pretend Don't you worry now Don't you worry now, my love Hey girl, get this cell phone off the roof Talk to her and go forward Put her back to work and give her a job I said, if she has a job, she's more likely to think. But you remember that you have to give her your confidence. You have to tell her it's okay. She's trying to listen. So you have to tell her. Okay, you're rising. And say, hey, we got this together, you and I. Talk to her so she can't pay attention to anything but you. That's right. She's listening to you. I'm not kidding. Sing her a song. Today was rough. An easy slip and then you're out the door You had enough These empty vows come again no more Oh, it's all pretend So don't you worry now Don't you worry now All this will end Don't you worry Look at your rising, do you need to sit or stay? Can okay, I watch this? Correct. What happens now? Watch when she gets to the, when she realizes what's gonna happen. Look up, come over the poles. All right, she didn't do it. She does it for me, watch. It's because you weren't, you're here? Sometimes people just wanna make a cut out of cardboard cut out of me and record my voice. Yeah. Stay in the cardboard cut out in the arena. Yeah. And play my voice. All right, let's do it. You know how many times I've heard that? Yeah. She, okay, watch, she's getting ready now. This time, Sophie snuck it on her last time. <laughs> she's Come looking. Over the two poles, turn her nice and straight. Good, looking up where you're going. Nice and straight. Yeah. I don't see an issue. Yeah, she's just being good today. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't understand. Heels to the ground, I need you to check in with that left foot. I know we've already started cantering, but we still can't it's forget about those six feet. Make sure your toes are on your stirrups and your heels are down. Talk to her and tell her to get in the corner. Say, I'm the boss, I'm the driver, and this is what's happening. That's it. Just because there's a pile of snow on the ground doesn't mean we have to stop working. Keep going. going. Yeah. I read if you look at it, they're going to look at it. There are some horses that need to investigate to have their nerves calm. Most horses ride like it's not there. Okay, this is where it's gonna happen. That's it, look straight ahead, click, click. See? Also, she's cheating, because there's more than two. So we need to be really tough this time. Okay. Keep her nose in the middle of the pole, pull it over. That a girl, middle of the poles. You got it. Pass me and you may walk. We never walk at the gate. Keep her nose in the middle, there you go. That's it. So she can get the speed up there, but the field wasn't afraid of it, so it didn't go anywhere. Yeah. So she set up like three steps and then realized that she didn't care. And she's like, just settled right back down over the pole. Yeah. Which could be she speeds up and you go, oh, jeez. And she oh. goes, I win. Oh, I freak out. She yeah. screams a little bit. I scream. I almost fell off. Well, I didn't almost fall off, but I could have fell, yeah. fallen off. Right there. See, she drew her head up a little bit, sped up, but then she realized that the crap was happening. Sophia doesn't care. Got a girl. Good job fixing your rising. Got a girl. I want you to shorten your rain on the wall.
were better at horse camp. You did awesome though. High five. The figures I decide to make a day in the life of our homeschool when one of my kids is sick. We're just gonna continue on with the video though so that I can get it done because today's the day that I have it spotted. There is nothing better in the whole world than when you're sick having somebody cuddle up and lay beside you, huh? What is that? Right, so do you love having somebody sleep with you? She's got two little friends all cuddled. They're probably loving how warm Maisie. she is right now. Yeah. Maisie, you look so cuddled in. And Cookie's she like, wait, always... that's my spot. <laughs> See? Now she's like, I'm sick too. We are gonna end today's video a little tiny bit early as Sophia is finally feeling a little better. She literally slept, slept the whole day. She's sitting here with her trusted companions, all making sure that she stays safe and warm. How are you feeling? Good. Does she look good? Look. <laughs> no, you do not look good. You know what it's like though, when you wake up in the morning and you feel sick, and then uh, during the day, you start to feel a little bit better, and then by nighttime, you crash again. For 100%, she's gonna crash tonight. But maybe tomorrow or the next day, she'll start to feel better. That's just the way that this that happens when she gets sick. Tessa Cross says, finally a little early because I have strep and I can't sleep. I'm sorry you're sick and up in the middle of the night. That has to be the worst thing. Sophia thankfully slept most of the night, so that was good. Um, uh, Kathy Milk have, has a couple of comments on here that I read. They were really, really long. I shared some links, and I just want you to know that I really appreciate them. It's really hard for me to respond back to every single point, even though I really wanted to, because everything that you said really touched a nerve with me, and I was super excited to investigate some of the things that you said, and I'm even more excited to try out a few of the things that you said on Wednesday at my lesson. Livid Silver, we haven't heard from her in a while. This will be the last one because it is super long. Yeah. She says that I'd be very wary if your male rabbits have gotten in with the female. Neuter and spay should happen sooner rather than later at this point. Female rabbits have a 16 day cycle and are repetitive to breeding, or are receptive to breeding 14 days out of that four, 16 day cycle. So each escape could be a could be spelling a recipe for disaster. And since you've been keeping them together again, I wouldn't dismiss the possibility of baby bunnies in the future. Rabbits are different baby from- Baby bunnies, I want baby bunnies. I do. Um, cute. Rabbits are different from most mammals in the fact that female releases her eggs at the time of breeding rather than before like dogs and cats do. Okay. So that means female rabbits are on pretty much all the time during those receptive days. I also wanted to mention the vet costs. Those prices did not seem unreasonable to me. You must remember that vet bills are not subsidized by the government so clinics must charge full price for all drugs and medic medications used during surgery or they would be unable to make a profit. Even though many of the drugs and medications used are similar or even in some cases the same as those used in hum human medicine, you are not charged the full amount due to government subsidizing or your health care. You are also paying for the vet's time, knowledge, and experience, something which did not come easily or without financial cost to them. But I'm sure you know that. You might find rabbits are also more costly for such procedures, especially in a clinic where it isn't routine. Technically, rabbits are classified as exotics and they are often not seen by your usual cat dog clinics for much more than a general health check and vaccinations. Rabbits are often sensitive to anesthesia which can require some extra management on the vet's part to minimize the increased risk of complications. A lot of work can be required to ensure a successful induction surgery and recovery from anesthesia, sometimes going as far as to require extra equipment such as an induction box. So depending on the clinic standard procedure, it may inquire ensure an extra cost do not dismiss the work of quality vet work not that i believe you do so that's from livid silver and all i have to say to you at livid silver is that as usual your comment is bang on and so well thought out and very well welcomed to by us right point that i was trying to make the other day about the vet um, was not specifically the, how much it was i was expecting about two hundred dollars but was the difference from vet to vet all in the same city. How anybody, how vets can charge whatever they want. But like you said, there are lots of other factors that probably contribute as well to which, how much each vet charges. Anyway, that is it for today, you guys. I tried to shoot a homeschool video, a day in the life of homeschool video today. I don't know how good it's gonna turn out because somebody was sick. Somebody didn't go to school today. She it's said, Fair. She spent almost all day sleeping, Sophie. Was it you? Yeah. 
Okay, clearly she's still sick because she doesn't even care. She doesn't care that she just left us alone today and we had to do school all by herself. It was boring. Was it boring? Yeah, tomorrow hopefully will be better. Anyway, that's it for us. We'll hopefully see. I'll be sick. <laughs> I'm not throw off sick. It's just a cold and croup and you can't get out of bed. The problem is that you and I never get sick, so it's not gonna happen. When I ever get sick, I only get cold. Yeah, and just so you know, I don't let kids out of school just because they have a runny nose. But Sophie slept almost all day. Fevers absolutely 100% get you out of school. So you yeah. need a fever, sister. Mm -hmm. If I just sleep till uh, uh, lunchtime, because that's when we're done. That might work. See you later, bye. Bye guys. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.